So when I was a scout, and I'm guessing that this is the same for other MOSs as well, we would have a lot of random inspections, like of our rooms, of our issue gear, of our uh, uniforms. Uh, and I think some of this is in the name of, you know, the Army is a culture of conformity. And if somebody's not conforming, the machine breaks down. Uh, and then, you know, the other part is some of these guys just had a, a punishment fetish and they got off on the fact that they were the ones doing the punishing and not being punished. I don't know, not my area of expertise. Uh, but one of the things that we would get inspected a lot was our dog tags. And I don't know if you know this, but there's a line on your dog tags for your religion. And there's not really anybody controlling the information that you put on your dog tags. Like you just go to a shop and you tell them some info, they punch it on a thing, and then you're off to the races. So in 2004, something came out in the news about Jedi being an official religion. And I thought, it'd be funny if I put that on my dog tags. So I did. And then the next time they got inspected, my NCO looked at it, had a chuckle, uh, and then moved on. So I didn't get in trouble for it. So now I'm thinking, okay, let's see how spicy I can make this soup. So initially I had uh, Christian non-denominational in basic because that's my parents' religion. Uh, and then in Korea I had Jedi made. And then when I got to Fort Hood, the shamming really intensified. So I got ones made that said Shadow Ninja. Uh, and then when I reclassed and I went to Fort Campbell, I had a couple more made, uh, one that says Thundercat, and one that says swashbuckler. Now, there's not really a point to the story other than maybe, you know, if you're in a giant machine that's attempting to crush your soul every day, you should inject fun wherever you can 